When we look right now, of course, the, the border is stopped, all live imports uh, from coming across our border into the United States. A fly doesn't adhere to those rules. What are we looking at? From Tennessee's perspective, I think that's something that we certainly think about, but then also um, wildlife potentially could transmit uh, the fly or the larvae. And so looking at control, um, as has been kind of described by USDA, uh, but also states are, you know, taking that into consideration is to implement surveillance, right? Mm -hmm. Start looking for those types of parasites in the summer um, treatment to try to keep it from spreading. And then hopefully um, sterile insect technique, mm -hmm. uh, is, which is what they used to kind of keep it at bay, um, enhancing production of that insect to try to help uh, combat it. If an animal is infected, is it curable? Is this something that we can work with? It is treatable, yeah. Um, but in advanced cases, it mm -hmm. is it can be terminal. Yeah, yeah certainly uh, very devastating to uh, newborns. You know, affects mm -hmm. castration, dehorning, anything like that that you'd be doing as part of routine management. So, for folks here in Tennessee trying to keep an eye out for this, what do we need to be looking for? Well, it, you can't distinguish it from regular old kind of routine larvae that you mm -hmm. would see on a, on a wound that has been around a while. But anything that looks unusual, um, there's some good reference material on USDA's website. The uh, screw worms actually will, again, dive into healthy tissue. And so if you see anything that looks unusual, um, a heavy infestation that doesn't seem to be clearing up, something like that, notify your veterinarian. You can also call the state vet's office and we can work to try to get you know, diagnostic samples and get those tested.